then what you need to do is that you, uh, you look at, you're going to take a limit on both sides and use the uh, dv curl lemma here. Okay, I'll just explain here. First of all, let's look at the right hand, I mean the, le the left hand side here. It's a product here. Bose has weak limit. This has a limit actually by the assumption. The limit is, the weak limit is H. This one has a limit, weak limit, because of the, uh, the first theorem I have here. All right? That's because once you take the gradient in, this linear function becomes a constant. Constant, of course, is the periodic function. And then you take a gradient here, which will have an epsilon come out on the denominator, cancel this out. Then you have an xk star of x over epsilon l. xk star is periodic. Scaled, you have a limit by that theorem. So both has a limit, weak limit, and then you have to verify whether you have divergence uh, the curve here. So I guess here, because this is in a gradient form, the curve is zero. And here, the divergence converges, well, converges uh, by the assumption of the theorem. So the left hand side converges to something, you can actually tell uh, this is converged to H uh, by definition here, and this one will converge to uh, the average of the periodic function. The, the average of this periodic function is zero, is a character to define the, the mean is zero, and this one, when you take the gradient, is a constant here, so it becomes just uh, the gradient of uh, xk. So that's, and then you multiply the test function phi here. That's half on the right-hand side, okay? On, on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, you're going to do the same thing by kind of switch order here. Okay, again, both term has weak limit. This has a weak limit by the assumption. This has a weak limit because each of these is a periodic function. The product is a periodic function. Scaled, it has a limit. And then divergence of this gradient is zero. And, no, sorry, the curve of this gradient is zero. And the divergence of this term is zero because this chi star is the solution of that equation for, for A star, okay? So the right-hand side also converge to, well, this one will converge to the gradient of U, and this will actually converge to something related to, uh, uh, well, the limit here using it converts to the, uh, the limit of, of this one, which actually is A0. Uh, you have a star there, okay? So at the left hand, the right hand side actually converts to uh, A naught star and uh, the gradient of xk and phi dx, okay? So that's, that's the idea. I'm running out of time. I probably spend just a little bit of time uh, tomorrow to finish the proof. But that's all the main idea is, is already here. OK, I'll stop here today. Thank you. Are there any questions? Yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's a limit of a constant. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's so each AL hat is constant, the limit is still constant, yeah. It's, a, it's, all, it's, all, it's, st it's still elliptic. Satisfy the same lower bound. Thank you.